my beautiful friends of love and light welcome to my sacred space my name is Raven and thank you so much for being here tonight's reading we are asking spirit what do you need to heal right now so we are attempting to do a little bit of shadow work okay because I feel like it is much needed so if there is something that you think is kind of like holding you back right now or something that's preventing you from reaching your full potential we are going to tap into that energy tonight so please be reminded that my readings are all general so only take what resonates with you and please leave the rest behind second my readings are timeless so whenever you find this video that is when you're meant to receive this guidance lastly um, as a form of like um, an energy exchange between you and I I would like to ask you to please focus your gaze on the crystals and use your intuition to select the one that calls out to you the most okay um, each of these crystals represent a group and that way um, your intuition will somehow work with mine to ensure that we are getting the right message for you. Alright, so the first group that we have is Rose Quartz for group number one. Second, we have this Green Adventurine. Group number three, we have Laradorite. Right, once you're ready, we're going to proceed with the readings. Hello there my beautiful friends from group number one. If your intuition guided you to select Rose Quartz Crystal, this is going to be your reading. Before we start, I would like to um, put a disclaimer out there. Um, kindly be reminded that this is an attempt to do shadow work with you. So this reading is not going to be exactly pleasant, alright? This is a little bit triggering because we are going to face your shadow self head on. Um, if you feel comfortable in that and we are going to proceed with the reading otherwise I would recommend you to find a different reading that's a little bit more light okay please be reminded that my readings are all timeless so whenever you find this video that is when you're meant to receive this guidance from spirit also know that my readings are general so um, yeah only take what resonates with you and your situation and please leave the rest behind your um, intuition will guide you um, to know when that message is indeed for you okay so we are starting thank you so much angels and spirit guides can you please help me find out the shadow attributes that's preventing group number one from reaching their true potential thank you so much we have hermit okay so we're only looking at the shadow attributes we have withdraws from society out of fear or negative judgment of others refusing to help those in need all right and then we have teacher all right manipulating or abusive abusing students teaching negative traits and destructive skills okay um i, I want to put it out there as well that it doesn't mean that these cards showed up these are already happening in your life it just means that these um are possible um outcome okay um and we are going to interpret the message that spirit is conveying to us okay it, you know they, these could be some things you might be inclined into doing so um the reason that they're showing up here is so that spirit can um can kind of like give you a heads up all right i feel as though you are someone who's kind of like close off to the world okay um with the hermit card showing up here i feel like you you prefer your alone time i i'm not really sensing that you know you just do it um to char recharge okay a lot of people um, especially the introverts would you know would really enjoy alone time or other people who would like to take I mean, who would like to pull back their energy and have um find some alone time for themselves um to kind of like recharge your energy i feel as though you're not doing that i feel like you are kind of like um maybe you are I don't know I'm getting the energy that you are depressed okay um take it how it resonates it's not gonna be for everyone but for some of you I feel like you are kind of like putting yourself in this situation because you feel like you have um depression all right you feel like you don't want to put yourself out there because you will get rejected okay uh I'm, I'm just getting that energy um for the teacher card I feel like what you're doing is you're not really kind of like manipulating students but somehow you okay it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a teacher okay you could be but you don't have to i mean perhaps you are kind of like i'm getting this energy that you are in a discourse with someone and you're talking about something that is um is that something that you're very um interested in okay something that you have studied a lot um perhaps this could be 
Um, it just, it, this could be any topic wherein you are kind of like some sort of like the expert, okay? Um, could be something that you've researched a lot on or something that you've learned when you, in school, okay? Um, but I feel like the, the shadow aspect that I'm seeing in this energy is that um, you do not necessarily try to, you know, um, change the or kind of like give false information. You just kind of like um, withhold some information that doesn't align with your beliefs okay that's the energy that i'm getting okay so perhaps if you're doing that or if you know if you if you catch yourself doing it then please try to you know kind of like take it down a little bit um for both okay um perhaps you could also be refusing to um help other people by providing them with your energy or with your 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 education or your knowledge okay perhaps someone would come to you and ask you for advice and you know you know you know but you somehow are in this hermit energy and you don't want to help all right so that's the energy that i'm getting let's pull some other cards for you anything else for group oopsie for group number two. Oh, sorry group number one please anything else for group number one what shadow um aspects do they need to heal in their lives please what do they need to heal? What do they need to focus on? What is being blocked? Self-worth? Invisible. Gosh, okay. Kind of like tying in with the hermit energy. I feel like you want to be invisible for some reason. I um. It's also tied in with your self-worth. I feel like... Gosh, you might not be feeling 100%... Um, just stand for a little bit i because i can't see the cards all right I just want to make sure that you're viewing all of the cards i feel like you know you do not fully um how do i say that you know when you are um confident and in yourself you would just readily go out and you know kind of like uh, be part of the society when you are confident when you have like your even your self-esteem is like full and but i'm not saying like you're when you're full of yourself no i'm saying that you know when you have the ample amount of confidence and self-esteem you have the energy to go out to socialize with other people to kind of like join the society i feel like somehow that is kind of like missing within you or i'm feeling as well that you know um maybe the reason why you are um hiding is because you want to be invisible okay spirit is saying that you need to reevaluate your self-worth okay your self-love um maybe something happened in the past that led you to you know question your self-worth okay that is a very wrong um thing to do because janice joplin said that um don't come you know Janice Joplin if you know Janice Joplin you're cool <laughs> she's um, a 60s or 70s was it 70s I don't remember but she's like this this blues rock and roll and blues singer and she said do not compromise yourself because you're everything that you've got all right so that's just a message that I'm hearing right now um if there is something in the past that made you feel like you are not worthy spirit is saying you need to break that um you are not invisible okay you're not don't the reason why you feel like you are perhaps your friends aren't communicating with you as much as before perhaps you're not getting the same support and love and you know um, affection and people are not really reaching out spirit is saying it, um, it's not because you are unworthy it's just because that a lot of things are happening right now in the world okay um a lot of people are focused on their on themselves as well on their survival okay um uh, a lot of people lost their jobs okay so you know maybe you lost your job as well maybe that is the reason why you're feeling a little bit you know you're questioning your self-worth don't do that it's just i know this is a timeless reading but it is what when i'm doing this reading right now it is you know the pandemic is going on so um a lot of people are just really focused on themselves right now but it doesn't mean that they they, they oh, sorry it doesn't mean that they did. oh my gosh why am i slurring okay if you're drinking um right if you're drinking while you're watching this pay attention um i feel what was i going to say see i forgot um gosh it got completely taken away all right uh 
perhaps you like to enjoy a bottle of wine or a glass um, <laughs> a glass or a bottle of wine alone at night okay or in your home i feel like you're not really socializing uh, okay going back to what i was saying earlier i feel like you know um i need to remind you or spirit needs to remind you or spirit wants to remind you that um, you're not alone okay you're not invisible people see you people you know re are, people um, remember you it's just that you kind of like chose to ostracize yourself maybe or um, other people are also focused on themselves because like i said so many things are happening in the world right now and you know try not to take it personally okay um I'm gonna pull some go goddess cards for you, okay? To find out which goddess um, is watching over you or um, a specific goddess that, uh, how do you say that? A specific goddess that uh, has the qualities that you need or that you need to possess, okay? Right now. This goddess has qualities that you need to imbibe right now right Ooh, we have morgan rhythm all right i think if i remember correctly i guess morgan is the the goddess who's like um of irish descent um and she is am i correct she's the one who is like a warrior goddess i'm not really familiar with all of the goddesses here but i feel like you know the rhythm card um uh is saying that you know you life is happening around you whether you're in it or you're out of it okay spirit is just reminding that the, the music of the world will continue to play even if you're in it or out of it and right now you're choosing to be out of it okay spirit is saying you need to go back okay you need to find the rhythm you need to find like create a ritual for yourself okay there has to be something you don't have oh gosh perhaps you are kind of like you know stuck at home all right uh, with the lockdown and all of the quarantine situation that's happening perhaps you're stuck at home perhaps you know you, you have decided to just stay there you haven't you know you haven't seen the outside world okay you're fearful to go out because you would rather be invisible because you feel like you're already invisible to your friends and that is not true you just need to find some sort of like um like create a specific um schedule that you need to follow every day okay go back to the rhythm of life and once you do you will realize that you know you are slowly get going out of that dark hole um of depression okay or sadness or grief or all of the negative energies okay anything else for group number one please what do they need to heal okay we got let's have a look beauty okay again with the self-worth i feel like oh gosh <sighs> all right similar with you know self-worth and the hermit card i feel like you are you you took a major blow to your um self-esteem lately okay you're not um giving yourself the um enough credit okay spirit is saying you're beautiful you have to remember that you're beautiful okay so perhaps someone is sort of like envious of you and you know it also this is not going to be for everyone but for a small portion of you i feel like someone was envious of you and it led to some sort of like a disagreement or something or they, they made you feel bad about yourself and that is why you know that's that's also possibly a reason why you're hiding that's not going to be for everyone but for a small portion okay um you're questioning your beauty right now um whether you're a male or a female you're questioning your appearances okay um spirit is saying don't okay don't do that um nothing good will come out if you kind of like dwell in that energy okay you are beautiful you know we are all beautiful regardless of our looks our um our physical appearances it doesn't matter what's what matters most is our intention um our inner self okay if you have a pure heart you are more beautiful than you know maybe a hundred you know i don't know maybe 90 percent of the people out there because i feel like the world is kind of like really effed up right now okay so if you have a beautiful heart try to you know see more beauty in everything okay 
if you have a big heart, if you kind of like, um, if you are compassionate to other people, but I'm sensing that you are because I wouldn't say this if it, it doesn't resonate with you. If you are compassionate, if you listen to other people, okay, if you, um, if you try to see the beauty in everything, your life will change, okay? Don't dwell on the negatives of life. You are beautiful. Okay, we got spiritual union, material harvest. So we got the two of cups and the nine of pentacles. Okay, gosh. I'm, s I'm sorry for saying gosh. For some reason, I don't know. I just picked that up. I feel as though... Okay. Um, you are... I'm sensing some sort of breakup. Okay. Could be recent. Um, doesn't have to be. But I feel like you are in this um, single energy. Okay. You're focused on your material wealth. Okay. Um, you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your own being. All right. Right now. And perhaps it's the reason why you're just staying inside the house. You kind of like lost faith in this spiritual union. This um, two of cups here. Per, um, I don't understand why. Um, but let me just... Uh, I'm gonna pull some more card. Hang on. Pull more card. What is going on here, please? What is going on with spiritual union and material harvest? Gosh. I'm gonna get the first one. Okay? You feel like you got left out in the cold. Okay? With the five of pentacles here, I feel like, um, could also be a choice, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't always have to be about love, all right? Because we got more pentacle cards here, so I feel like there was a choice, um, that needed to be taken, all right? There was a decision that needed to be done in the past, and the re the, I feel like, um, because the two of cups is... It's just saying that, ah, uh, gosh, you know, you wanted to partner up with someone, okay, related to work. Could be you were trying to partner up with someone, okay, maybe this is a love, okay, please, a love relation, or, you know, take it how it resonates, but I feel like, you know, what is left is that, you know, right now you are in this nine of um, pentacles energy, someone who is single, someone who's just focused on their own coin, someone who is more of like working towards their own stability, because in the past you experienced some sort of like, you were kind of like left out in the cold, okay? Somehow I'm, I'm sensing that it's being tied with the, the energy that you were kind of like let go from a job or, you know, perhaps laid off. Um, could be with love, could be with work, okay? Take it how it resonates. Um, what else? What else? Uh, okay. So we're gonna ask spirit, what do they need to surrender? What do they need to surrender? Group number one. We have surrender to the wisdom of your body and surrender your fear of intimacy. Mm. Okay, listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you're energized and happy, move forward. And then surrender your fear of intimacy. It says, you're ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release any pattern that stops you from opening your heart. Okay, perhaps that's something that you really need to, um, that was bothering you as well. Okay, again, with the love energy here. Okay, it just came out. Um, spirit is reminding you to just pay attention to yourself, to your to your energy, to your body's energy. Okay, when um, when you go out um, and you meet people, if you feel kind of like drained, all right, if you feel drained, um, maybe that's the reason as well why you're trying to be invisible, why you're hiding. Okay, you, maybe you 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 had an encounter with someone whom um, left you feeling drained. Okay, after meeting them or after like. Um, a time with them um and you're thinking that you know you're just fearing intimacy maybe that person really is kind of like maybe an energy vampire okay take it how it resonates but you know spirit is saying to just be pay more pay closer attention to how you're you feel energetically when you know you are with other people okay don't disregard that because your gut feeling is 
is something that you are divinely given to guide you as well okay so listen to your gut and trust your gut okay surrender your fear of intimacy okay perhaps you were burned in the past that's why you are kind of like standing in this nine of um, pentacles energy okay see um that's the message that i'm getting um spirit is saying to just let go of that fear okay perhaps maybe that's also a reason why you are questioning your self-worth okay perhaps you encountered some sort of like a breakup a separation okay um it doesn't have to be for everyone but that's the energy that i'm getting spirit is saying do not focus on that okay if you focus on that if you just you know allow yourself to dwell in that energy then you are blocking um blessings that's you know supposed to come to your way all right so any advice for group number one please spirits any advice for group number one Any advice to tie in the reading for group number one? There is always enough. And the spirit has your back. All right. So, hang on. The energy that I'm getting with this spirit, with the, the, this card, uh, there is always enough, is that spirit is trying to remind you that the world is abundant. Okay. Maybe you're thinking that there's no more fish in the sea, okay? That's that's somehow, this is a download, okay? Uh, maybe you're thinking that there's no more fish left in the sea, that, you know, that you're done. You, you just want to hide. You just want to, you, you just want to um, kind of like make yourself invisible because you are tired of everything that has happened in the past, okay? Perhaps you've been burned with your work. Perhaps you've been burned um, in your personal life, okay? You lost touch with your friends, okay? Spirit is saying get over that energy and just realize that you know the world is abundant you are you're you are um surrounded with, with beautiful friends okay who support you and love you you're surrounded with your family who's always going to be there for you you're surrounded with a lot of prospects okay for love okay um this is the energy that i'm getting there's a lot of fish in the sea okay don't ever think that there is not enough there is always enough and then spirit is here to remind you that they have your back okay you have the eagle spirit here and the eagle is a strong animal that can see things from you know that you great heights okay spirit is saying that you know they are there they can see how everything is going on they have the bird's eye view they see things you know like way before you even reach that part if there's danger there they see it so spirit is saying trust trust okay right um to end this reading i just would like to give you um uh the soul um a card from the soul's journey souls journey lesson cards deck by james von Prague for an affirmation that will help you okay any affirmation for group number one that will help them in healing Ooh, we have forgiveness and relationships okay connected all right so for forgiveness it says i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love what was i saying earlier about you know feeling that okay so this is just your confirmation perhaps um whether you are feeling resentment toward your towards your friends okay towards you know some family members who you feel like have forgotten you or towards the company that you were working in before you know let it go forgive everything because you know you're just blocking blessings to come in like i said earlier and then here relationships i'm attracted to those people who serve my high, higher good okay so again perhaps you know you were involved with someone who is an energy vampire perhaps they're narcissistic perhaps you know you know this person just you know just wasn't the right one for you maybe that's the reason why this ended because you know you just needed to learn a lesson from this person okay perhaps they left you kind of like oh my gosh okay i'm seeing a different picture right now i feel like okay this is gonna be a quick run through of everything this is not going to be for everyone okay please take it how it resonates this is just going to be a small portion of you i feel like you were in a relationship with someone who is some sort of like an energy vampire someone who treated you unkindly okay this person made you feel like you are not enough this person kind of like instilled or drilled that in your mind in your energy and in your spirit and they were trying to break you down okay <laughs> that's the energy that i'm getting and i feel as though that kind of like made an impact on you all right um gosh i'm getting goosebumps i i feel like that made an um some sort of like um I feel like you're an empath okay and empaths usually kind of like attract um the narcs or the narcissistic 
people right so i feel like you know as an empath you kind of like um absorbed that energy okay right so now you're you know you're left here thinking oh gosh you know i believed everything that this person told me i am not worthy i'm not you know i'm nobody that's the energy that i'm getting that's why you have this hermit energy here and you have this invisible energy and you know beauty you're, you're questioning your own beauty okay for just a few of you okay this is not going to be for everyone um please release that energy you do not need that in your life you need to forgive yourself as well okay forgive yourself as well do not hate yourself for um um sometimes that happens you know sometimes you hate yourself for allowing these things to happen to you spirit is saying don't do that there's nothing good that's going to come out of it the best thing that you can do is to just take the lessons from what happened in this situation and just move on and learn from it okay that is the energy that i'm getting so that is what i have for you group number one if this reading resonated with you please let me know in the comment section below please like and and subscribe as well to the channel i hope that you find um what you need to work on okay please take some time to um absorb the reading and um address it okay take care you guys and see you again soon bye hello there beautiful people from group number two if your intuition guided you to select the green adventuring this is actually your reading um first and foremost i would like to apologize because for some reason it just got cut off i think because somebody tried to call me and i i can't find the video i have been talking here for maybe i don't know 10 minutes 12 minutes and i i had to sit for a while to think you know if i should restart the reading or proceed with it but um my integrity is saying to proceed with it because that is the reading that has already started and um you're just gonna have to trust me that i didn't cherry pick the cards because i do shuffle them um while i do the video and for some reason it just got cut off and i'm so sorry for that i apologize before we before i proceed with the reading i just want to give you a trigger warning okay this reading is kind of triggering okay uh, we are attempting to do some shadow work so um and if i can hide the cards right now i would but I was actually already, you know, I, I was bringing this one close to the camera and then that's when I noticed that, gosh, it's not recording. So, um, I'm gonna have to trust me on that. Um, as for this reading, as I was saying with the disclaimer, um, this is tri triggering. We're going to attempt to do some shadow work. We are going to, um, we are going to, uh, find um what it is that is kind of like hindering you from becoming the best version of yourself or hindering you from becoming your best um or you know um actualizing your best potential i'm so sorry you know what <laughs> it's just really i feel sad because i was just talking and talking and talking and just i i just i said so much so many words already um i'm gonna have to remember all of them <laughs> but okay so like i said earlier um if if you are not into um these sort of readings that will kind of like be you know kind of triggering um i would suggest that you select another reading perhaps all right however if you have the courage to proceed with this reading so because you you really genuinely want to heal yourself then stick around because we are going to do that um also um okay uh i've selected or i shuffled and these cards came out um your archetype cards okay just want to say that archetype cards um the prostitute card is present in everyone i know it sounds different i'm sorry magnus is kind of like hey babe what's wrong um i feel like sorry my cat oh gosh you know what everything is kind of like going wrong and i'm also running low on battery so i'm gosh you know what whatever is kind of like keeping you in this shadow self it is quite strong okay we are getting like a lot of disturbances okay anyway um like i said i was saying earlier i need to focus protection hang on i'm gonna get some black um crystal here all right as i was saying earlier i feel like um I need to inform you that these cards it doesn't necessarily mean that you already possess these things okay because here we have um the shadow uh, the prostitute is actually part of you know um each and every human being accor according to carl jung each and every human being possesses 12 archetypes okay and i think six of those are kind of like um six or i don't remember how many but several of those are 
constant in each and every one of us and prostitute is one of them so you don't have to worry about that card it doesn't necessarily mean that you're kind of like prostituting yourself it just means that um there are some things um within you that you are kind of like willing to bend and flex you know um um to get um material needs and wants okay so like i said these cards not, doesn't necessarily mean that you already are you know um operating in these energies it just means that these could be energies that you are prone to do or could be inclined to do in the future so the reason that they're showing up here is because spirit wants you to prevent from diving in into that energy okay so let's talk all right so um i feel like i said earlier gosh i said earlier that you know you could be someone who uh, who is very popular okay i feel like you are someone who um who has clout okay you have a lot of fans okay you are popular you are someone who who's well liked generally you're charming but somehow you're using it um to kind of like um do your own advantage doesn't mean it doesn't always have to be good okay perhaps you're using your 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 um your clout for uh i don't know it could be as simple as hey can you like get me to the you know to the counter faster if you're like in the grocery you know sometimes yes that's good that's good if you're like trying to shop for food or something but i feel like um if you do that too frequently then you know you will kind of like lose um some values in life that are needed for you to to be the best version of yourself because if you always get what you want then you know you will be spoiled or you know have that entitlement okay and spirit is wa is wanting you to prevent that for the prostitute energy the energy that i'm getting here is i feel like gosh i'm so sad that i have to repeat everything but i really feel that you know you really need to receive this message so please bear with me i feel like in the past you know you were some sort of like in a group or friend okay perhaps in a company and you were um pirated or you're trying to be a part of a different group that ha has more um financial um stability okay i feel like you know you're not necessarily in line with this um with this um group of people or i mean your values are not necessarily in line or your values are not um your values are not how do i say that you your values and their values are not necessarily you know they, they're kind of like clashing i feel but the energy that i'm getting is that you know you are um you're somehow willing to overlook that you're willing to you to bend your boundaries because this group of people you feel like you're gonna get more from them okay so i feel like somehow I'm, I'm getting the energy as well that you're kind of like um alienating other people because you're choosing this group of friends you're choosing them because you feel like you will get more from them like okay, they're kind of like um well off could be or perhaps you know they get um similar to the prince they kind of like use their power um to get more things and you you're somehow like i feel like you will fall in with the wrong crowd and spirit wants you to kind of like think long and hard okay the fledgling and the wishing card came out after these two um and the reason um it did i feel like is because you are kind of like the new person in the group and you are sacrificing your 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 um you're kind of like turning a blind eye from your your values okay the values that you grew up with okay your virtues as a person because you want to be excuse me you want to be liked and you want to be accepted by this group the spirit is saying that you know you need to re um how do i say that you need to reconsider your wishes and wants in life okay with the vision card here i feel like spirit is saying um you need to reassess what you really want in your life because right now you're kind of like alienating other people are kind of like not focus on other things that you need to focus in your life because you're you are too um you're kind of like you have this tunnel vision on this thing okay earlier i was saying that um you know in life sometimes you know things that we think are too big right now things that we think are like this is my world you know give it several months this thing is not as big as it as you think it is um the thing about that is you know when you are kind of like too absorbed in a situation you kind of like look at it like this close okay you're looking at it this close you think about it you dream about it you eat it you feel it and what you see is that every you you dream about it even so you you're kind of like um your face is kind of like so close to this thing that it looks so big right and that is just 
that's so true as well like get something and put it too close to your eyes and you will think that oh gosh this is big but in reality it's not it's small you know so spirit is saying that you need to kind of like step away from the situation to actually see the gravity of the of the matter at hand okay perhaps you're pity you're putting too much weight in the situation wherein it's not really that important okay perhaps you 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 are kind of like too focused on your wants to be part of this group or your wants to get gain more you know but you know when you when you zoom out and you think about the bigger picture you will see that you know these things are not really that important there are so many facets in your life that you need to focus on and this is not you know it spirit is you know reconsidering your wish saying to reconsider your wishes all right because spirit doesn't want you to live in regret in the future you know you will realize shoot you know what i took for granted the things that you know really matter to me because i was so fixated on this thing but now that i look back it's not even that big it's not even that important i wish i could have done this better i wish i could have done that better i wish i could have stayed you know loyal to my friends and spirit is spirit doesn't want you to live in that energy okay um we the reason why this card is here is because i was asking um which goddess is the best for you to kind of like call out on or embody at this time and i got ben 10 creative luck all right this energy is kind of like the reason why i put it in the middle is also because um it's kind of like breaking the two from connecting all right I feel as though you are someone who is very creative okay perhaps you are someone who paints you're into music okay um and you have lost touch with that facet of your life with that part of your life perhaps you have a hobby of like painting or you're very good with your words you kind of like lost touch with that okay because you're too focused on one thing and spirit is saying that you need to go back to that because you're very good at it and at the same time it is your outlet like i said earlier when you're too focused on one thing right it goes bigger and bigger and bigger and you know when you actually have an outlet then you have some sort of like a release all right so you if if it gets inflated 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 and if you have an outlet then you you tend to release and it becomes smaller because your 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 um, attention is being um um your attention is being given to other things okay the reason why you know spirit wants you to return to your creative side it's not because you you it's not just because it it is also important in a part of you but also because it will allow you to kind of like divert your attention so that not everything is going to be focused on one thing all right so um i got this um victim consciousness card okay this flew out and <laughs> as i was saying before i noticed that it wasn't you know recording anymore i feel like spirit it's not present okay this is kind of like a heads up spirit doesn't want you to live in this victim consciousness energy because i feel like um after some time after you really realize that you know this thing is not that important and you lost your friends you lost your you know you lost so many people you lost um time um or you know you would you would live in regret but instead of like owning up to that i feel like you would be um you would not hold yourself accountable for the decisions and the actions that you take that you took um because you would be living in this victim consciousness energy and that is not a good place to be in because once you start this one everything in your life will going is somewhat going to like fall in the same energy you won't take accountability for your actions because you know what you will think oh you know what um i was just a victim of the circumstance i really didn't want it you know this 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 just happened to me and i'm the victim here that is not the way to live your life you need to own up to your mistakes you need to be accountable for everything that you've done because every um every action there's a there's a consequence for that okay whether good or bad okay spirit doesn't want you to fall into this energy that's why it's kind of like a heads up all right victim consciousness gosh you know what i'm shivering for some reason i'm shaking and i don't understand um can you see oh gosh i don't understand why i'm shaking <laughs> i'm using black crystal to you know shield me and protect me but um so yeah this person is someone who's just al who allows things to happen to her and somehow it ki it's kind of like tied into this you know it's someone it's you're kind of like allowing things to happen to you and you kind of like get pity all right you know spirit doesn't want you to be in that energy 
it's a very bad energy to be in you don't want to train yourself to have that victim mentality because you know it, you it will be hard for you further in life okay i'm gonna put this down now um uh what else what energy okay oh hang on pull some tarot i have to constantly look to check if it's recording because i don't want it to i don't want to repeat myself again anything else for group number two please whoa too much i need two cards for group number two please thank you so much oh base chakra and rest and rejuvenate okay so spirit is saying that you need to ground yourself in nature okay um right off the bat that's the energy that's kind of like swooping in at me i feel like you know you if you find it hard to make decisions okay um if your base chakra is kind of like here it just goes to show that you need to focus on it all right you your root chakra is the one that's responsible for making decisions in your life and i feel like you have you have a tendency to be fickle or you're kind of like indecisive spirit is saying that you need to ground yourself you need to go back into nature you need to sit you know you need to you know meditate and think about the things that's happening in your life you are too focused on some things that you know you are making the wrong decisions okay rest and rejuvenate and you know release some of the tension some of the things that's occupying your mind every day every night okay you don't have to be dwelling in that energy because i feel like you you know how when you want something so much that you're just kind of like consumed by that energy i feel like that is what is happening and spirit doesn't want you to be that okay spirit is trying to prevent that from happening so um ensure that you find time to rest okay ensure that you find time to kind of like um uh, go back to yourself okay um, I'm gonna pull what do you need to surrender what do you need to surrender Oops. I'm sorry I'm shaking it hi I'm back I'm sorry the the audio will sound differently because I had to charge my phone it died okay so that's crazy I am receiving a lot of uh, distractions and disturbances in your reading group number two and i don't understand why um, you really need to work on yourself if you have a black tourmaline you know please get one you need it to protect yourself i feel some strong energies that you know want you to remain in this shadow side okay we don't want that so i had to grab my charger in my black tourmaline because a small uh, obsidian that i had i was grasping uh, i was holding on to earlier it wasn't enough okay i feel i'm still i don't understand i'm getting a headache now and you know my hands are still shaking and okay i don't need to be telling you these things but okay we're gonna ask spirit now thank you so much for your protection angels may you please ask what does group number two we need to surrender thank you so much surrender to success you're ready to experience abundance don't look back at the previous roadblocks or difficulties to leap into an exciting new world of possibilities okay spirit is saying that you need to allow yourself to find the worthiness in you that you know you are you are actually um worthy of success okay you don't have to block this energy i feel like um perhaps you're kind of like blocking yourself from receiving success because you feel like you need to be a part of the group or you need to be it's kind of like you you don't trust yourself enough to be successful just by yourself like you need to be um, associated with other people who have more power have more clout you know i feel like you have that energy within you and spirit is saying you don't need that because you know what you are very talented you're very um determined i feel like you can possess the success or you can achieve the success or uh, achieve your dreams okay you can have all that you don't need to um, um kind of like bend your your virtues and your values just to accept that um or be that okay we also have surrender to effortlessness stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river again with the energy of like you know um like i said with the fledgling i feel like you know you are kind of like bending your um i hope you're hearing me well i feel like you know you are bending your your values or you're kind of like willing to kind of like um 
if you're willing to um, how can I put that? Sorry. So shaking. Um, I feel like you are willing to I'm sorry, I it's evading me. I'm getting a headache. Um Angel Sun Spirit says, please protect me and please defend your face and fear. Now with my angels to please come and protect me. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not. Whew, okay. Spirit is saying that you're working really hard to kind of like be liked to the point that you are willing to bend what it is that you have um, lived with, um, you know, values that you have lived with growing up, okay? Perhaps there are some things that were kind of like um, non-negotiable for you or there are some things that are kind of like um, you have set some boundaries in your life but to be part of this thing, you, you want something so much that you're willing to kind of like, um, you know, allow these things to, you know, bend because you want this thing too much and spirit is saying you know um if you want something so much and you need to to kind of like something that you want that will require you to let go of your family let go of your friends let go of your values is something that's not really that worth it okay spirit is just reminding you to, to reconsider and think use your brain think about it think long and hard okay what is this thing that you're trying to kind of like achieve so much that you're willing to risk everything that you have your family your friends your values think about it okay it's not something that's um going to be worth it in the long run once you look back it's not okay gosh um any advice for you Let's just end the reading any advice for group number two please I think I'm gonna have to have a break to charge um, after this reading I, I feel so depleted we have transformation is beautiful okay so spirit is saying okay one second they're asking me to pay attention to the butterflies I feel like there's a moon behind the butterfly. That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, I'm being drawn to that. I feel like you do not really see. Of course, we all don't see what is going to happen in our future. I feel like, you know, you are kind of like clouded. And that's the reason why you want to ensure that, you know, you know what you're going or where you're going and what you're doing. You, you want to take control of the situation and you're pushing for it so hard. Um, because this is what you think is what you need to do but spirit is saying you just have to surrender and go with the flow because you are going to transform into something far more beautiful that you have ever ever imagined okay you do not need to be part of this whatever it, this is this group this company or anything that doesn't really coincide with your values as a person reconsider it okay because you are about to um, encounter a major transformation that will make you very bankable okay it's it's going to increase your value not only um in the company i guess but um how you see yourself and that's the most important thing if you see yourself as um not enough then you know you will um attract energies that you know will make you feel like you're not enough whereas if you if you appreciate yourself and you know you see your true worth then you will get um, energies and situations and experiences that also coincide with that okay to end your reading may I please get um affirmation cards for group number two please affirmation cards for group number two thank you so much love okay i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things okay spirit is saying to just focus on love focus on the people that you love focus on your friends focus on the things that you love okay creative things um that you have always loved and just try not to be um sucked in by negative forces okay 
and then oh gosh relationships okay i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good okay this card actually came out as well for group number one so i feel like this is in relation to this group okay perhaps you are not um perhaps you're being um entangled with people who are not like your true friends who are not um going to look after you who are not going to be the best people or best influences in your life so reconsider that and attract the people who are actually there for you who will support you and love you and you have um enough love and support from your family and your friends okay so that is my crazy reading for you group number two if this resonated with you please let me know in the comment section um i truly appreciate your likes and your subscribes and more importantly i would love it if you would promise that you will work on this okay i need to kind of like take a break now before i proceed to reading number three but that's it take care guys and see you again soon bye hello there my beautiful friends from group number three if your intuition guided you to select a labradorite this is going to be your reading um before we proceed i just want to give you a um, a disclaimer this reading is going to be triggering okay because we are going to attempt to do some shadow work we are going to face your shadow self head on and find out what is it that is potentially um depriving you success or potentially kind of like hindering you from being the best version of yourself please be reminded that my readings are all um timeless so whenever you find this video that is when you're meant to receive this guidance second it is also general so only take what resonates with you and please leave the rest behind hang on a sec um please be um advised that like i said this reading is going to be triggering so if you are not um if this is not your cup of tea then i would um, recommend that you select a different reading okay something that's a little bit more light if you have the courage and you have the genuine um willingness to work on yourself then we are going to proceed with the reading okay we are asking spirit for guidance asking all of my angels for protection as well okay what is it that group number three needs to work on okay what is hindering them from being um for achieving from achieving their highest potential okay thank you so much angels and spirit guides asking all of my angels for protection may I please ask what is group number three's shadow attribute oops too much asking for group number three's shadow attribute please thank you so much may I please ask for group number three's shadow attribute we have mediator negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda either personally or professionally okay another card please whoa okay that flew out we have slave all right giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices okay um i just want to remind you that or let you know that these readings or these cards from the archetype deck doesn't necessarily mean that you already possess um, these qualities or that you are already um, operating in this energy okay the reason that um, spirit guided us um, to these cards um, is because they um, spirit wants you to prevent from diving head-on into these types of energies okay um, it's here so that we can work on it all right um, we are only focusing on the shadow side, all right? So with the mediator card showing up here, I feel like, of course, every man is, you know, it's human nature to think of ourselves in everything that we do. And I feel like, I feel like Spirit is saying that you have to, um, Be mindful of the things that you allow in your life or the situation that you allow yourself to be in the energy that i'm getting from this card is that you know you perhaps would usually find yourself in situations wherein you would need to kind of like um assert yourself in a way that would that people 
uh, assert yourself in a way that would make people that would make um, people to think that you are helping them but somehow you are you have this um, like it says here you have this this hidden agenda okay um, uh, let's give a, a situation perhaps um, you're trying to um, uh, perhaps you're trying to um, recruit a friend to join like a, a company or something but you're you're planning to um, or it is in, in the back of your mind that you know once your friend gets accepted in the company um, that you can ask favors from them okay it could be as simple as that could be something bigger okay but take it how it resonates but that's just my analogy for this card I feel like you you have the tendency to do something in the false pretense that you're helping but actually you know what you also have a part of um, you will benefit from it as well okay and I feel like the motivating force for you to do that is because you will benefit from it okay so take it how it resonates it doesn't necessarily mean that you're already proliferating in this energy but it is something that is possible in your life okay with a slave card here i feel like um you are someone who is not um you're not very um grounded okay i feel like you you would rather um allow someone else to manipulate you or allow someone else to take um, the decisions for you because you do not have the courage to make your own decisions you have you kind of like you don't want to be responsible for the consequences that would occur with the dis with the decisions that you need to make in your life um, spirit is saying that you know what you need to um, you need to be the driving force in your life you need to be the one behind the wheel you need to be the one who will take the rein um, of the horses and direct the situation you are kind of like being lax in that and you know that is not something that will help you in the long run because you know what this can also somehow um make you complacent in the decisions that you make because well because you won't be making any decisions because other people will make the decisions for you and therefore you will not learn all right and at the same time if somebody else makes a decision for you then you're just going to be like okay so it's not my fault they're the I'm sorry that got cut. Um, it is strange. Okay, I'm getting a lot of disturbances and um, distractions. Anyway, as I was saying, um, as a slave, I feel like you won't have the um, you won't learn to take responsibilities for your action because everything else will be every decision that you have to make in life, you will allow someone else to do it for you. And at the end of the day, if something fails, then you know you would have like clean hands you know i didn't make the decision you know somebody made it for me and then you will never learn accountability okay that's the energy that i'm getting and spirit is saying that is preventing you from moving forward from um from taking power and control of your own life okay let us get more cards anything else for group number three what else I'm sorry if this reading just keeps on getting cut. I don't know what is wrong with my phone. If it's because it's low battery or if it's something else, I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to shuffle again the cards because um, while I was shuffling earlier, it died. So any more messages for group number three, please. Thank you so much. We have self-worth. Okay, that came out in group number one. And we have choices. Okay. Okay. So the energy that I'm getting here from the um, from the cards, I feel like you are kind of like holding on to your self worth. Okay, you are hugging it so tightly that you are unable to allow other people to um, experience um, the joy of knowing you. That's the energy that I'm getting. I know it's kind of like different from the other side, from the energies on this other side. So take it how it resonates. Okay, could be a message for somebody else, but I feel like. Um, spirit is saying that you need to also be conscious of the choices that you make okay perhaps you know you are being reminded to really um, to really find the courage to make the choices in your life because right now you are not doing that okay with a slave card here you you just you just would rather allow someone else to make the choices in your life and that's not how life is okay in life we come and go okay we learn as we go as well okay and if you if you will just continue to allow other people to just make the choices for you um you know you you will never learn okay 
So th this card is somehow reinforcing the slave card, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, Spirit is saying that um, you need to find, um, you need to trust in yourself, okay? It's more about self-trust or trusting yourself, okay? <laughs> um, with the self-worth here, I, f I really feel like, you know, you are kind of like, you're operating in an energy of like, you're preserving yourself, okay? You kind of like, you're holding on to your um, yourself, you're hugging yourself so tightly that um, you, you know, you, you don't want to, it's, it seems like you, it's good, okay, it's good to value yourself, but I feel like you value yourself too much to the point that you don't want to make decisions for yourself because you don't want to seem responsible for the actions that you take or the decisions that you make because you don't want to be the one who um, will be responsible if, if things fail, okay, that's the energy that I'm getting, that's why you would rather allow other people to take control of your life, and that is not a good place to be in, okay, next up, I'm going to ask, um, goddesses, um, please show up, um, any goddess who would like to help group number three, um, face their shadow self, please show up, uh, I'm asking, um, what, um, energy, or quality of a goddess of any one of these goddesses you need most right now to help you in your journey whoa okay we have gratitude i can't pronounce um so so she okay i'm sorry i can't pronounce that but we have gratitude here all right the energy that i'm getting is that you know um Spirit gave us Goddess Soshi Ketyal because um, you are being reminded to be grateful for the things that you have in your life, okay? Once you are operating in that energy of like high vibe, okay, being grateful, being thankful for the things that you have in your life, like counting your blessings, you are vibrating in a higher frequency. And once you are in that um, energy, um, you are filled with lighter um, vibration, okay? And with that, you will, you're able to kind of like um, attract all the things that you need in your life and when you are also in that frequency you have the courage to take on things okay i feel like spirit is just reminding you to you know find um maybe five minutes of your time every day to sit down and kind of like write down the things that you're grateful for in life and once you do that you know what you will um feel better okay you will be um you will have a more positive outlook in life because i feel or the cards are kind of like conveying that you somehow ended up in this slave energy or will end up in this slave energy from past experiences that made you feel like you know you you made you feel like negative you see the negative things in life okay um similar with the mediator card here i feel like that's the reason why you know um you feel like everyone else is doing the same thing okay perhaps somebody did this to you in the past when they kind of like said that they will help you but in turn they kind of like took advantage of you or kind of like took advantage of the situation um um in your um spite or how do i say that in your in your stead or something like that they kind of like took advantage of the situation um instead of like really being there for you they kind of like did something else and maybe that's the reason why you kind of like are projecting this energy because that happened to you in the past and that left you kind of like feeling negative and you know you you, you just you just want to <clears throat> excuse me you just want to um not make any more decisions because okay this is going to be for some of you not everyone because i feel like the decisions that you have made in the past kind of like um connected with this you know a specific um, situation that you know didn't end up well and it made you fear making choices because you made that choice for that one and now you just don't want to make choices anymore all right and that is kind of like when you're a low vibe when you're you are you are operating in an energy of lack in an energy of like um, um, a negative energy and in general okay um, you will attract more of that so you know you are not saving yourself by giving the power to your life to other people okay you just need to own it and take um, control of the situation again all right so um anything else for group number okay here 
Anything else for group number three? What do they need to heal, please? Group number three. Please tell me, what do they need to heal? Sexuality. Okay. All right. Huh. Hmm. All right. I'm getting two energies right off the bat. I feel like, though, um, you're kind of like um, restricting your your um, sexuality all right perhaps you are there is something that is pressing that you need to you know um address in terms of your sexuality no judgments over here you know love is love okay so i feel like you're focusing you, you would rather face the darkness you would rather hide okay because um Because you are afraid that once you come out to the light, that people will judge you, people will hurt you, will strike you for the truth. Okay, that is why you, you would rather stay in the dark and, you know, make allow other people to make the decisions for you. Because, you know, you're kind of like going to your friends and asking them, you know, what do, should I tell them? Should I, what, what do I need to do? And that is something that you actually need to focus on or meditate on or kind of like do some self introspection because you really need to come up with a solution or arrive to the solution and decision by your own means okay that's the energy that i'm getting for some of you okay know that the people who love you will always be supportive will always love you regardless of your decision regardless of your your sexual orientation okay it doesn't it's not as um taboo all right it's not taboo actually you know what whether you like girls and you're a girl or you like boys and you're a boy you know what that's cool that's totally fine okay it doesn't matter anymore all right i know in the in the past like in the 50s and you know it was frowned upon but right now a lot of people will even support you for taking the courage to actually come out okay i'm not forcing you to do that okay but if this reading is resonating with you spirit is saying to consider all options consider everything because maybe this um hiding this is kind of like restricting you from being your your true best okay that's the energy that i'm getting for some of you for others i feel like <sighs> gosh you know it's so hard to do shadow work readings <laughs> i feel like um you are kind of um how do i say this i feel like you're okay i will allow spirit to say it i feel like somehow you're using your sexuality as a way to get what you need i'm not saying that you're prostituting yourself i feel like you know in a way you are um using it for example if you are okay this is this is a situation that is really you know on the tip of my tongue you are in a relationship with someone and you want um to or and the relationship is kind of rocky or you know things like that um you would um initiate sex because sex would usually kind of like patch things up okay spirit is saying that is not how to do things all right that is not going to be for every one of you just a small percentage of you but because that's the only message that i got um so yeah um spirit is saying um that is not the way for you to heal um issues um specifically in a relationship okay you have to let go of that um sex is not the answer okay communication is okay so you better um off by you know um, using your words okay to express yourself okay because things won't work themselves out by not being um addressed okay anything else oh sorry sorry i was reminded that i'm using a different card deck okay this one instead anything else for group number two uh, sorry group number three please anything else for group number three patience and the truth oh okay right so we have judgment here <coughs> excuse me and we also have temperance hmm spirit is saying that you need to heal okay you need to have the patience to heal yourself um 
I'm feeling as though in the past you kind of like encountered some sort of situation that made you or that will allow you to take this this slave um you need to heal okay forgive yourself if if you made a decision that kind of like led to a bad situation in the past you need to t take accountability for that okay you need to accept that this is the truth this is what really happened i am responsible for the things that has happened in my life you know this is something that you know i did this is this was my decision and you know what it's okay because i am going to learn from it i'm gonna heal this situation i know it will take some time but i am gonna heal it and eventually i will you know acquire the knowledge that i need um it's kind of like um it's like picking up knowledge okay as i go in life because that is how we actually you know go through life we learn through our mistakes okay this is not something to be afraid of this is not something that i should be ashamed of it's something that i should put um on my belt okay <laughs> that's the energy that i'm getting it's kind of like you have to add this on your or kind of like think of like a um a boy scout badge okay that's i feel like you know you can put it oh gosh what's wrong okay it's still recording i'm just super low bad i feel like it's something that you can put um you can wear it proudly because you learned okay that's the energy that i'm getting all right so um anything else okay what else do they need to surrender okay group number three what do you need to surrender thank you so much surrender low self-esteem and surrender your addictions okay so perhaps um you could um be addicted to sex earlier like i was saying all right using sex some, as some sort of like a leverage in your relationships um maybe you could also be you know um this self-worth card could also um could also mean that the reason why you're you're kind of like holding on to your 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 self-worth so much is because you have low self-esteem because you have you have suffered from this in the past and you're kind of like rebuilding yourself and you're regaining your your self-worth and your your confidence and you do not want to um, lose that again okay spirit is saying that you deserve success love abundance and you have to set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem so if you if you ex experienced that in the past you have to acknowledge it first okay in order for you to heal it acknowledge it learn from it think about you you don't have to you need to ruminate about the situation okay sit with it think it write it okay you need to you know get in touch with your higher self to heal that okay ask your angels for help okay right and then also surrender your addictions okay i feel like okay sex here um whether you're addicted to substances food people sex or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives like i was saying earlier you know in, you know um sex is not a way to kind of like fix a situation a relation or uh, you know kind of like mend a broken relationship i feel like that is somehow kind of like connected to this similarly i feel like you know um you're You're kind of like addicted to the idea that you can you can't do anything wrong all right um spirit is saying you have to let go of that that's just for a small percentage of you um okay right. um i would like to ask for advice for group number three huh hang on they're asking me to kind of like what Spirit is saying that you need to let go of your any addiction that, you know, kind of like um, prohibits you from seeing the real you, okay? Perhaps you are into substances that allow you to kind of like see, or you, that give you, the, or I'm, I'm sensing kind of like um, mind-altering drugs, okay? Or kind of like maybe um, alcohol, anything that would, would kind of like... Um, change your perception or your perspective of things i'm being drawn to the eyes so i feel like you're not seeing things clearly when you are um when you are um uh in this addiction that you have okay spirit is saying you need to let go of that perhaps also that's a reason why you're kind of like giving your um giving your uh, the power to um your power to other people okay maybe that's the reason why you're allowing other people to make the decisions for you because you you are inebriated or or maybe you are impaired you know you are unable to make the decisions for yourself okay i don't want to um take care of yourself okay if you drink or if you're into that please um take the necessary precautions um when you go out okay maybe you know um 
have a friend who is going to you know watch over you okay and ensure that you are not being um, abused or um, being uh, held against your will or you know anything of that sort um, also please find the time and actually make the time to let go of these addictions because these things aren't going to help you okay these things aren't going to help you these are all detrimental to you if you feel like you know it's giving you power right now wait until you know everything f's up then you will realize that it wasn't really true power okay you do not need any substance to you know help you get through the day or help you um I know it might sound kind of like preachy of me, but Spirit is saying that, you know, you ha you got this. You don't need any of that, okay? Oh, we got two cards. Great. We have be at home, okay? Perhaps, you know, it's been a long time maybe that you have been um, away from home. I feel like maybe it's time for you to, you know, get grounded, okay? Sometimes when we feel lost, okay, perhaps you are feeling lost. And if, if you're feeling that, then, you know, maybe you need to kind of like um, get in touch with people, not necessarily like your home, your family home. If you're not close to your family, your home can be your, your soul tribe, okay? People that you really feel comfortable with, people that you really love and love about and love you too, and people who care about you, okay? So wherever that is, that is your home. And Spirit is saying is to just go back to there, um, to that place and you know heal there okay because so you need to surround yourself with good energies and you know supportive people um while you heal okay Spe especially with your addiction over here and then swan spirit time for a deep dive okay like i was saying earlier i feel like it's really time for you to you know have some um introspection you really need to go deep within yourself to find out the reasons why you are doing things why are you you know be um acting um like you do not have the power why are you um um kind of like hindering yourself from making the, your own decisions okay why are you allowing um, yourself to be um, inebriated or your mind to be um, clouded with you know substances it doesn't really help you you need to go deep within yourself okay um any affirmations for group number three please to end this reading love oh my gosh this one came up for group number two as well okay i committed the practice of seeing good in all things you know what love will actually help everything love will heal everything if there is something in your life that you feel is like lacking or you know it, you feel like is um it's not enough always think that um always go back to love okay find the gratitude um find a grateful heart begin your day with a grateful heart write the things that you want the things uh, sorry write the things that you have in your life to attract the things that you want love will actually um come to you um when you surround yourself in that energy or when you vibrate in that frequency okay i feel like also um love is also here to remind you that um you are not alone okay you are worthy of love okay you have people surrounding you um who will um love you and support you um to be the best version of yourself oh shoot gosh that's too much one last card for uh, of affirmation for group number three please thank you so much angels and spirit guides denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness okay <laughs> like I, like what i said earlier tying it with the energy of the slave um actually kind of like tying the whole energy of the reading okay i feel like you are in denial of your self-worth and your power okay um and this card is just saying that you know whatever it is that you're experiencing the root of it is fear okay try to recall whatever it is that allowed you to you that's kind of like making you um be this person all right you have to acknowledge it you have to um face your shadow self like i said in the beginning of this reading okay there's no point in denying things because once you deny then you know you're you're kind of like being arrogant that you are perfect and that you know you're not doing all of these things spirit is saying be humble and accept that because that is how you will learn and that is how you will grow okay that is what i have for you group number three if this reading resonated with you please let me know in the comment section if you enjoy this reading, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want more readings like this, please hit the notification icon. Thank you so much for being here and I do hope that you find the love and the support that you need from the people 
from your soul tribe okay that is what i have for you group number three take care and see you again soon bye